Hey, today I will be changing the head gasket on my 1994 Honda Civic. I've seen plenty of videos of people doing this job. However, it's usually them blabbing on and not getting to the point. And also, this video usually consists of four different parts. So, I made mine into one quick and the video and I'll explain what needs to be done. This method is the easiest way to do it if you only need to change the head gasket. This method also does not involve messing with the timing, which to some people is fantastic. So, once the timing bell is off, the car cannot move at all, so I advise everyone to pull the e-brakes before attempting this job. So I went on Amazon and got a head gasket set for this Honda Civic, which was pretty cheap, it was about $70, $70. So I'll put that link in the description if you want to get that head gasket set, it's not bad, it comes with just about everything you need, and a lot of excess stuff as well, which I did not use. And and the head gasket set even comes with brand new head bolts which everybody advises you to change. For the majority of Hondas you'll need 10, 12, and 14 millimeter sockets. You'll also need wrenches, a torque wrench, WD-40 copper spray gasket, and extensions. So first you need to jack up the car at its jacking point. A power drill will make this job a whole lot easier as well. Then you go under and take off the few brackets. So first, you need to take off those bolts and all the bolts that's connected to the bracket that's connecting to the exhaust manifold. Here is the bracket when it comes off. First, we need to take off the cover, then pull out all the plugs and set them back. Our main goal is to take off everything on and around the head. This job will be quite a bit longer if you don't use a power drill. So I'm taking off the radiator hose. Then I'm tucking it right in the back so it won't get in my way when I'm later on pulling off the head. Taking off the bolt that's connecting all the wires together so I can push them all back fully. I'm taking off these hoses that's hidden in the back. There should be about two or three of them. I'm spraying the bolts with WD-40 so it'll be easier to take off later on. And also remove all the plugs, there's two big plugs and then there's also I think three plugs underneath the distributor. And also for this job we are not taking off the distributor which is awesome. On while you're pulling off the head make sure you put it on a soft surface. Now I'm taking off the timing belt cover. Then I'm spraying the bolts for the exhaust manifold, which I'm also going to do later. I'm editing it, so. I'm spraying the exhaust bolts. Some of these bolts on the exhaust manifold is kind of hard to get. So just do and use what you can. I use a wrench and a socket. The middle one is kind of difficult to get. These are all the bolts that came from there as well. Currently I'm taking off the power steering pump. I just angled the camera wrong. But you will see it. Just take off the majority of those bolts. The power steering pump is probably the most difficult in my opinion. Or time consuming. I am taking off the exhaust so I can get to the power steering pump bolts easier. So I forgot to mention and forgot to do that there's also 
a bracket I need to take off right there. So jacking up the car. And there's the bracket. So we need to go ahead and take off that bolt so the exhaust can pull straight out and straight down. So it will be out of our way. For me, that top bolt actually broke, but I figured I don't need it anyway, so I can pull it straight up and tie in the bolt, so, and the belt will be tight, and I put it back together. So we're going to wedge it out, out of the way, and now we need to go ahead and take off the bracket from the power steering pump, and here's the bracket. So for some reason, the camera stopped recording me when I was taking off the belt, and the process of how I did that. So what I did, I got my girlfriend's nail polish and painted the top of the belt as well as the gear. So I can see exactly what to put the belt back. It should line up exactly perfect when you get finished, but this is just precautionary. So what you need to do is, since this is a reverse film from later, it doesn't really show me wedging it off, it shows me wedging it on. But what you need to do is get your fingers and just wedge it straight off. It should come off. It's a little difficult, but it will come off. So, there is 10 bolts on this head. You start with one, then you go to two, all the way to 10. We're doing a four step torque process. So take off the bolts in the process of one to 10 that I showed you. I had to use a breaker bar because it was pretty tough to take off. Once all the bolts are out, go ahead and put the plugs back in the, in the holes. Then make sure the exhaust manifold is pulled as far back as possible so it's not going to be starved by when you're taking off and putting on the head. Now as you can see, this gasket is completely horrifying. You can see where it's tearing apart and why the coolant is in the cylinders. So you want to go ahead and clean those up before you put it back as well and take off the gas. So now I'm going ahead and taking off the gaskets on the head and the block itself. And once you take off the head, put the head on a soft surface once again. There, it will be kind of messy, so go ahead and put some towels down as well, so because oil will get on the floor. And once again, here's the full gasket. You can see where it's tearing apart again. It's terrible. Uh, and go ahead and take off the gasket off the exhaust manifold. That it was kind of tough for me. And I'm, and I'm gonna use a razor blade to take off the gasket on the exhaust manifold and the head and the brock. So this is after I used it. So I'm using the razor blade. I got off the majority of the, the gasket and once the majority of the gasket is off, the way I got it cleaned was I got the razor blade and just kind of swiped it back and forth like this. You don't want to gouge the head or the block because it will cause a problem later on down the road. So you want to get as clean as possible doing this. Make sure you get majority of the gasket stains off. And that's basically how I did that. And the way I got the coolant out of the cylinder heads is I got a towel and put it in those holes and soaked up all the coolant. And make sure you get all the debris out as well from taking the gaskets off. And I, and I also did three coats. And I also did about three coats of the copper spray gasket on top of the, uh, the gaskets that I got. This ensures that it will last longer and fill in any maybe gadgets or mess ups that may have happened. Putting the head on top of the gasket was kind of tough. Luckily for me, I got it on my second try, but this usually does not happen. Uh, and there's, there are also little pins on the bottom of the head, which kind of stick out so you can line them in the holes on the block. 
So go ahead and put the new bolts that you got from the set and put them in the head. Once again, we're doing 14 pounds, then 13, 36 pounds, and then 49 pounds. 49 pounds are one and two, in the process of one through 10. So first, I went ahead and hand tightened everything, and now I'm gonna use the torque wrench at 14 pounds. When you use the torque wrench, you should hear a small click. As you progress to more pounds, the click will become more prominent. So just keep an eye on that. Now 36 pounds. Now we're going to use 49 foot pounds. For some reason, the last ball for me was kind of tough. It wouldn't really get there. So now we're gonna wedge the belt back onto the gear. This would be kind of time consuming. It's kind of tough to do, but it's, it's also pretty easy. It's got from the gasket set I got from Amazon. We got quite a few new gaskets which I'm gonna go ahead and replace them although I don't really need to. So to finish up this process uh, go ahead and go in the reverse of what we did on taking everything off and it should be step by step and uh, if you have any questions or concerns put them in the comments below and uh, good luck guys. So just a quick update when I changed the head gasket on my car it was still spilling water through the exhaust tailpipe and making too much condensation so therefore I knew that the sun maybe perhaps a head gasket I put on wrong, but in fact I did not. I did the process one more time just to ensure, and I figured out that my head was warped. So I just need to go find another head from a you pull it or buy a new one, which I do not want to do. And that involves doing the timing as well. So that's basically it. I have a previous video of this Honda Civic where, where I was checking the oil with Blackstone Labs. This video will be right up here, okay guys? So if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and like and subscribe. That'll support me to keep doing these videos. And I have quite a few different types of videos on my channel. And if you really want to, you can check those out as well. And this is Dudley Decker, and y'all have a great day, okay?